My name is Dr. Srikant Murli Krishnan. I work as a senior consultant hematologist and hemato-oncologist in Apollo Cancer Center, Tena Pet, in Apollo Main Hospital, Greens Road, Chennai. Today, I would like to talk about multiple myeloma. Uh, multiple myeloma, in a sense, is a cancer of the bone marrow cells. So, where there's an abnormal production of the uh, cells, which are what is known as plasma cells. Now, these cells produce what we call as a protein. I think all of us know protein means it's good for health, but in this case, this is a bad protein which can go damage your bones, cause holes in the bones, can cause fracture of the bones, that are you can get some pain in any of the bones or also any uh, unexpected fracture as well, what we call as a spontaneous fracture without any cause. And again, it can push your calcium salts very high, it can go and damage your kidneys as well. So it can cause renal impairment and hypercalcemia as well. So what symptoms could you have? You could have suddenly uh, swelling of your legs, you could have abdominal pain, headaches, nausea, vomiting and all those kinds of symptoms. So who gets uh, myeloma? Again, it commonly occurs in people who are more than 50 years. So what do we do to diagnose myeloma? We could actually check the blood counts. You might be anemic because your bone marrow is producing only these types of cells and it doesn't produce your normal red cells. And again, if we do your kidney test, that is your creatinine, that would be raised and your calcium could be raised. And again, if we do a, a scan or a PET scan or an X-ray, we could see holes in the bones or the damaged part. So normally blood tests are enough and if we do pick them up on the blood tests, like that protein, what we call as the M-spike or the uh, light chains, then we go and do a uh, PET scan to identify where all the bones which are affected. Now the confirmatory diagnosis comes from the bone marrow. Now bone marrow is a very simple test done under local anesthesi anesthesia. Uh, we just take some fluid out from the backbone, make some slides and we take a biopsy. Usually the test takes only three to five days to come. And once we have the confirmation, now myeloma can be treated uh, in the same way. Most of the myelomas we give targeted treatment. We no longer give uh, chemotherapy as a standard practice. Sometimes you might need to take some subcutaneous injections which could be arranged by a home care nurse given once a week and tablets which could be taken from your home. And you might need some blood tests during the process to monitor your uh, blood counts, your protein levels and things. And within, um, all being well within a matter of say two to three months uh, the bone marrow should go into remission and then uh, it's more like diabetes or high blood pressure you just need to have some maintenance so that it doesn't come back again now in a recent study what we found out is uh, around less than five percent there is a familial incidence of myeloma so if any of your family member has myeloma it's important you check your blood for these m protein make sure that you also don't have this and again if you exp experience any symptoms such as tiredness weakness back pain or any problems related to the kidney then by all means do a blood test if there's any problems consult your local hematologist thank you